Hello, I'm going to demonstrate a setup of customizations on the home screen on the Shearwater Tarek dive computer. I have two Tareks here, both in the open circuit technical mode, but the screen looks different because this one is set up with smaller fonts showing four pieces, four rows of information, whereas this one has three rows of information with larger fonts. And this option of using a big or standard layout is available in all operating modes. And I will show you how to adjust that now. We'll press menu to bring up menu and scroll down to settings and we'll enter into the dive mode setup. And I can now change the layout to a big or standard layout. Now this layout, home screen and function button setup uh, are independent for each modes. So in open circuit recreational, I can configure those differently than I would for technical mode and it's not gonna mess with my technical mode setup. So in technical mode, I'll leave it at standard and now I'll show you how to set up what's on the home screen. So I come into this menu and I can change it between one, two or three uh, pieces of information. And then both of those inf pieces of information, I can pick from a large list of options. So I'm gonna put the decompression tissues bar graph there and I'm going to put the current um, AI tank pressure uh, beside it. And now we will go back to the home screen and take a look at that. So what we've got is that those information there on the home screen and the gas used to be here. And because the gas is a piece, important piece of information, if it's not being shown anywhere on the screen, it moves down here to the bottom. So this is a currently selected breathing gas. And the rest of the information is always here on the info button. So I can scroll through the various information displays. Some of them don't time out, like the AI tank pressure um, information screen doesn't time out. The compass doesn't time out. Uh, but other screens will time out back to the main screen after about 10 seconds. Or I could jump back to the home screen by pushing the left button. Um, but I have lots of information and uh, the tissues also does not time out back to the main screen. But we'll just scroll back to the main screen now. And I will show you um, how to customize now the function button. So the function button uh, is customizable. It's a quick shortcut to what you want it to do. Um, so I've got it set right now to the compass and that's the default. So it brings up some compass options uh, when I have that. And I can, I can unmark the compass or I could remark the compass. And I have this option here to show what is currently hidden. And what that does is it brings up this outer ring compass. Uh, you can see this, uh, this arrow will always point to north. And then when I mark the compass, I get a green mark uh, at the heading I marked. And it makes it easy to find your way back to where you've marked. Uh, note that the battery won't appear during a dive, so it wouldn't be in the way there. So I'm going to hide that. Um, just a quick note, there also is the other compass, the standard petrol Perdix style compass uh, available as well. So, okay, we're going to customize this function button. We're going to go back to the settings menu and we're going to go into the dive menu and we're going to say that the function button brings up the stopwatch. The options that you have here are going to be dependent upon the uh, dive mode that you're in. Uh, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to change uh, this to show the stopwatch. Because um, if you find that the stopwatch is a very important feature, you might want to have it on both the stop on the function button and on the main screen. So now this function button brings up the stopwatch. I can start it. It's going to continue to run here. Um, I can then stop it, or I could even reset it. And that makes it very easy to change the stopwatch. Now, if I didn't have it on the function button, I'd have to come into the dive tools menu, and I could access the stopwatch there. But you can choose what, what the most important feature is to you and program it into this function button. Uh, a few more things to go through about these customizations is that in the open circuit technical mode, in all the technical modes, including the closed circuit with bailout, 
If you're using the big layout, you lose that home screen customization. Uh, so you can see in the standard layout, the home screen customization is there. Big layout, no home screen customization. And that is because for technical decompression dives, uh, this decompression information and time to surface information are very important planning uh, and uh, current state uh, information displays. But in other modes, such as the open circuit recreational, uh, you do have some customization even in the big layout. You can't change this NDL, uh, the decompression stops would show in this place as well, or safety stops show here as well. You can't change that, uh, that location. But I can set up the, um, the other location to show you know, what's most important to me. And so there's um, lots of customizations that we have on the Tarek and you can you know, really customize it to your diving and what works best for you. Thank you.